representing Kevin Stewart. Yes. Okay. First of all, I'd like to thank this board for uh, uh, deferring this matter until uh, this meeting today. Um, this is about a uh, parcel of land that's already been uh, foreclosed upon in the 900 block of McKinley Avenue, uh, pretty close to downtown Canton. Uh, as you said, I represent Mr. Stewart. I sent a letter to this board just about a month ago. Seeing the board, I bet you all read it already, so I don't want to review it in view of your uh, busy agenda uh, this morning. However, uh, I just want to mention that Mr. Uh, Stewart does own he owns two parcels which are adjacent, but he owns the other parcel of, on the other side of this property that's just across from a small, very narrow street, we'll call it, uh, that has five units. Uh, his purpose, if should the uh, lot go to him, is to provide some parking for those three properties uh, where I think uh, two live in one, five in the other, and I don't remember the one kind of on the back, four units in the other one, and get those uh, people parking in that space rather than on the city streets because there is no uh, parking. Um, he's also been mowing this thing for 10 years now. Um, so obviously uh, he's maintained the property. He has quite a, a number of properties very close to there. Uh, and we would respect for uh, This is a multi-applicant multi situation here. So we're asking uh, that that parcel be awarded to him. And uh, Mr. Stewart is here. But when we're done here, you have any questions? Thank you. Warren, have you talked with anybody at the uh, RPC about uh, working something out? The other applicants are hubs, I believe. Right? Yes, and, and, they, and they are present. They are yes. present. Are you there? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, not, at, not at this point, but uh, should that uh, come up um, uh, following the uh, guidelines that uh, you've already adopted, uh, we're certainly willing to talk. If I may add, Please. in March of 2013, Beverly and Glenn Hupp made application for the exact same lot of which Mr. Sowers just referred. His client applied for this property in May of 2013. Those dates are really irrelevant in, in terms of the awarding of a property in the side lot program. Both have gone through the process, and that process, and actually I should have uh, Maureen talk about the process, if, except I think you're all pretty familiar with it. It goes through a number of steps within the city of Canton for review, and it eventually is signed off on by the ward councilman. In this case, that would be Thomas West. Uh, the first parcel to go, th or the first applicant to go through was the hubs, and they were approved. Uh, the second applicant to go through was uh, Mr. Stewart, and he was approved also, but a comment was made per the councilman that the approval was pending the Hubs and Stewart's agreeing to split the parcel. And if you look at the transfer procedure, when both properties basically, both applicants qualify, then the next step in the process would be to look at a potential split of the property. So right now the property is titled in the land bank's name, uh, subject to the decision that you make today as to what to do with it. And my suggestion would be that uh, it be split, it be split at the cost, not of the land bank, but of the applicants, the Hups and the Stewarts and then that the property then be titled in, in their respective names. Uh, Bob and I went out and visited the property at, at some point. It is a corner property at the corner of Herbert and McKinley. Uh, these are, for lack of a better term, substandard lots. Uh, the Hubs in their application had indicated they wished to use it uh, for uh, a side yard. While Beverly and Glenn Hupp applied as the landowners, their daughter actually lives in the property with her children. When we went out there, we actually noticed uh, that there was a trampoline in the, on the property in question. Uh, I don't know if it's still there or not, but it appears that this property is just a perfect property to actually split it. 
I think it would serve both their needs. It would give a side lot uh, for use uh, for the hubs, and it would also give uh, Mr. Stewart uh, the ability to use some for parking. Are you suggesting that we should act on the uh, on this matter? I, I, because, very frankly, well, my attitude or would be uh, everybody's together in the room. Let's do the lawyer-like thing, and that is sit down and say, uh, work it out without our without our co coercive intervention. But you're the lawyer in the matter, so I won't. Well, won't, uh, I won't impose <laughs> that on you. You may impose anything you would like, sir. <laughs> uh, the hubs. I had a phone conversation last week from uh, attorney Laura Gutris, who had indicated at that time that she was representing the hubs um, in furtherance of their application. Uh, she is not present today. Uh, I know the hubs are. Uh, it is possible that we could all sit down and, and work it out at some point, but since I have actually spoken with attorney Gutris, I think it would be improper for me to actually work something out without her being present. Right. Uh, I think I'd be almost an ethical <coughs> violation. Why don't you call Lori and see if, and, and Lauren, and, and let's fix the time, and I'd be glad to come and I can explain to all of you. And uh, the, this, when it was initiated, of course, this was my business. And uh, and uh, if in, in case anybody is the least bit interested, I'll tell you exactly what happened. The HUP sent in their application and I looked at, I looked and I could see from the auditor's records that the tax mailing address for the, for the uh, owner was that very address. So I leaped to the conclusion that they were residents because who in his right mind has a tax bill sent to a tenant? Doesn't happen in this world. I think uh, Mr. Leonard would confirm that. <laughs> uh, and so I jumped to the conclusion, that turned out to be erroneous, the hubs would clearly have had a priority under our guidelines had they been the resident owners. Turns out they're not the resident owners, it's their daughter that's the resident owners. So I processed the application through to the end. And then, uh, and then of course, uh, Mr. Uh, Sowers, you raise a very valid point, uh, apparently was not resolvable on that issue. So my apologies to both of you for, the, for that having happened, but I, I really would prefer, frankly, to defer the matter until Perfect. The hubs can join with their counsel and uh, and meet and try would, to resolve it. Would you just inquire of the hubs right now if Attorney Gutris is still representing? Yeah, let's do that. Who's is, is it? Yeah, is it Beverly? Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Does Does Lori Gutris still represent you? He does. How about if you Perfect. get on the phone while you're here and uh, get a time convenient to uh, Mr. Sowers to to meet? And uh, I'd be glad if it can assist. Uh, I'd be glad to be there. I don't need to be there. I don't think. Would you want it done this week or next week? Where do you want me to tell her? Well, just well we, we can go into my office and make we'll that Yeah, call just let's wait till after the meeting excuse. and then Mr. Sowers and you can talk together about that. Okay. Okay? okay. okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you both for coming in. Okay.